Folks, lots of moving and shaking in the Obama administration today, including this. General David Petraeus' wife, Holly Petraeus, will head the newly created consumer unit for the military. Bloomberg's Lizzie O'Leary spoke to the woman behind the White House's broader consumer protection efforts, presidential advisor Elizabeth Warren, as well as Holly Petraeus, for the details on this newly formed office. Lizzie. Well, this is part of the rollout for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, PIM. One of the things that the White House is doing is rolling this out at the same time as a lot of Republicans are taking wax at the idea of the Dodd-Frank bill, trying to defund some of these offices. So this was announced today. So I sat down with Elizabeth Warren and Holly Petraeus, asked Holly Petraeus what she'd like to do first when she sets up this agency. I think what comes first is really setting up a good complaint mechanism so we hear what the, the number one issues are out there. Um, some of it's going to be outright scams, I think. I'm very concerned about the Internet. It's kind of the Wild West. There's a real explosion of um, loans on there that are either expensive or outright scams, advanced fee scams where you send money off in advance um, and you never get anything. So there's plenty to work on. Will you be staying once this office is up and running? <laughs> Well, um, you know, I certainly would like to do that, but um, I guess come July we'll find that out. Fair enough. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I want to ask you, and I guess actually this question goes to both of you. Bloomberg has, has done a lot of reporting um, about financial institutions, particularly Prudential in this case, that was essentially instead of doling out lump sums for veterans, uh, sort of survivor benefits uh, for folks killed in combat, they were doing it bit by bit and pocketing the interest. Is that the sort of thing that this part of the Bureau is going to be pushing against? And what kind of legal tools will you have at your disposal? You know, I, I want to start with a key part of what we'll be doing, and that is financial education. Um, uh, the entire new consumer agency will have an education platform. It's a central part of our mission. We're there to enforce the law, but we're also there to help educate uh, consumers. In the, in the military area in particular, as Holly rightly points out, families have been targeted. They've been targeted for a lot of different practices. A big part of what excites me about building a robust Office of Service Member Affairs is the military has really been on the front edge of serious education and testing to see if that education works. I'm hoping that that attitude is a big part of how we develop a strong consumer education element that helps service members in all parts of their financial lives to evaluate what's going on, to tell the difference between a good deal and a really lousy deal, and to make better decisions for themselves. Now, I want to point out that they're also partnering with the enforcement part of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is the other aspect of it that's been announced. And, Pim, I went probably about five rounds with Elizabeth Warren on whether or not she thinks she ought to be the permanent chair of the bureau. She did, after all, set it up. It was her brainchild. A lot of questions about whether she could get through uh, a Senate confirmation battle, but she just wasn't going to answer that question. I would say we, we did five, maybe half a dozen go-rounds on that one.